Hi, I'm Rachel. I create colourful paintings and I make tutorials so that you can learn how to paint them too. Okay, so today I'm going to show you the best way to splatter paint. I think this is the best way because it creates nice big splatters that are easy to see and it really brings a painting to life. I use this technique in a lot of my paintings, like my wolf and my elephant, and it's a great way to make the background more interesting. You can use it to create a starry sky, water splashes and other abstract effects. Okay, so to get started, you'll need a small pot or dish, paint, preferably soft body or fluid paint, water and palette knives. So start by adding some paint to your pot, then add some water. I've added a little bit too much water, so I'm going to add a bit more paint in. If it's too runny, just add some paint, or if it's too thick, then just add some more water. The right consistency will be runny enough so that it can flick, but not too watery. The paint should just about hold onto your palette knife without dripping off. Okay, so that's about right now. Dip your palette knife into the paint and then tap it a couple of times to let the excess paint drip off. Then just flick the paint onto the canvas using a quick hand action whilst tapping the knife at the same time. I'll zoom in in a second so that you can get a better look at what I'm doing. So there you can see the paint splattering onto the canvas. It's a large canvas, so that's why I like the splatters to be nice and big. So continue to do this until you're happy with how it looks. If any paint has landed where you didn't want it to, just get a piece of tissue or cloth and dip it into some water and then just wipe the paint away. Make sure you do this while the paint is still wet so it doesn't leave a mark. You'll also want to make sure that your painting is fully dry underneath so that you don't wipe any of that paint away. So I'm just adding a few more flicks of blue before I move on to the next colour. Okay, so now I'm going to flick some purple onto the canvas. I'll be using the exact same technique, just using purple paint this time instead of blue. So this painting already has a lot going on, so it's hard to see all of the splatters. So I'll just show you a close up of me adding the splatters to my wolf painting so you can see the flicks a bit clearer. So to finish off the whale, I'm just wiping away a few bits of paint that I wasn't happy with and then it's finished. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you want more in-depth and longer tutorials, head to the link in the description and sign up to my Patreon where you'll get instant access to all of my full-length tutorials.